Hi everyone, uh, it's Aidan Clifford here, a Microsoft Business Manager Team Lead for Pax8 here in APAC uh, with our first edition of the Pax8 Monthly uh, Microsoft Update uh, for October. So very excited to get this series kicked off um, and to jump into some content to keep you up to date with everything that you need to know uh, in the Microsoft ecosystem uh, for the next uh, next month or so. The purpose of the uh, the video today is to run you through some of the most important program updates that have come across uh, our desks that we've seen from Microsoft over the past uh, past little while. Uh, but then talk about some of the great opportunities um, that you have as a Pax8 partner um, through um, some of the programs that we're running, but also some of the rewards and incentives that we're running as well. So I wanted to run you through um, our Azure Kickstart program, and then also uh, a lot of conversations are coming in from partners around all things Copilot. So we do have a new rewards program that we're setting up there just to make sure that you've got that extra kicker uh, to help get some, some sales through the door and get some value back to your customers. So so if we're looking at program updates for the uh, the Microsoft AI Cloud Partnership Program, uh, there actually has been quite a bit of change over the past few months that you do need to consider. Um, if you're currently a Action Pack or Silver Gold partner, um, you may be aware that that is actually becoming end of life. We um, sort of heard whispers of it from Microsoft for a little while, but now it has been confirmed when those packs are coming up, uh, that they are being ended. So if you are an Action Pack um, user, uh, they'll no, no longer be sold after January 22, 2025. Uh, similar to silver and gold benefits, they'll not be eligible for renewal after January 22, 2025. So whilst you are still able to purchase those and renew uh, those program benefits prior to then, if you do have a renewal date after January 22nd, 2025, you won't be able to renew those and you will need to start looking at some of the new options, uh, which I'll go through in a moment. So in addition to these, uh, these new options, there are some more benefits being added from the Microsoft side, which we'll go into more detail. But just keep in mind that is the key date you need to consider if you are looking, uh, if you are currently subscribed to those programs and looking to make a change coming forward. One of the other main considerations is that after September 30, 2025, you will require a solutions designation partnership level or specialization in order to earn incentives. So this is more relevant to silver and gold level partnerships. If you are receiving rebates from Microsoft, you will need to move up levels to a solution designation or a specialization in order to re keep receiving those rebates. Otherwise, there are a few different options there available to you, uh, which we'll go through in a few moments time. So I just wanted to call out some of the main dates um, that you want to consider uh, if this is a, a a point in time that you need to make a new decision about your Microsoft program. Um, so whilst there was an announcement back in uh, back in August about the transition of these plans and the announcements that these upcoming dates are going to be in, in store, we do know what those dates are now. So January 21, um, that's the last date that you'll be able to purchase or renew legacy benefits. Uh, you aren't able to purchase those ahead of time. So if you do have that renewal date, as I said, after that date, you will need to look at some of the new options there. And just to reiterate again, if you are part of the rebates program, after the 30th of September, even if you do have a live silver or gold um, competency uh, benefit active, you will need to transition to the new program in order to maintain those benefits. Just another view into some of the uh, the new benefits or the changes that are coming through. Uh, we do want to make sure that you're getting as much information as you uh, as you need in order to make the right decision. So do feel free to reach out to myself, the Microsoft team at Pax8, or to your channel account manager for more details. But there are some great uh, great opportunities out the back of some of these changes too. Uh, we do have some more information in the full version of this video, which is available on YouTube. But one of the take home messages here is that if you do upgrade to either the Partner Success Expanded Benefits Package or the solution des um, partner designation, you will also have an option to include Copilot for Microsoft 365 within those benefits as well. So whilst Microsoft has changed this program um, and you do need to kind of see which the path forward is for you, they are adding more benefits to these programs as time goes on as well, which is great to see. One of the other areas that has been changing recently, which they, um, which Microsoft have made some updates, is around public sector um, moving into NCE. So whilst we can see that there has been a an end of the legacy um, being sold, legacy licenses being sold, which is, was moved forward to August, Microsoft is now leading the transition of those licenses through to NCE from September 1. So if you find that your public sector licenses or not-for-profit licenses are coming up for renewal, Microsoft will be uh, leading the transition of those through to NCE license types. So do, um, if you don't want Microsoft to make that decision for you, please do get ahead of the game and make that transition through to NCE yourself. Uh, if you don't have the details around this or you do have any questions, do reach out to our accounts team. Uh, as under NCE ruling, there are some considerations that you want to, to take into account. First one, um, incentives will no longer be paid on these uh, public sector licenses under legacy um, systems from March 1st. So that is an upcoming date that you want to consider there as well. 
but also similar to when the commercial change happened to NCE licenses, there is a 16.6% discount for month-to-month uh, -month licensing, basically reversing the 20% the uh, monthly premium that you saw under commercial if you're going for a month-to-month -month license type. Um, obviously, if you're changing over to annual paid up front or annual paid monthly, there won't be a premium on that on that subscription type. So do make sure that you are ahead of the game on this and do aware of that so you can make the right decision for your licensing. One other thing to consider is that Microsoft did announce that there is going to be a price increase for, for some Dynamics licenses as well. So from the 1st of October, uh, there was an increase across a range of different um, Dynamics licenses, which I've got on the screen here as well. Um, we'll make sure that there is a link through to this deck so you can review the license types in full. But basically what you want to make sure of is if you're aware of the renewal dates of your subscription licensing. So when these changes do come into play, uh, you're aware of what that uh, that price rise starts to look like from an RRP perspective. Uh, yep, we'll make sure that this is available in the comments, but the, the deck and the full session going through these is available on the Academy as well. But on the plus side, I wanted to go through one of the um, one of the sort of unsung resources that Microsoft has made available as well. Um, it's been around for a little while, but it is something that it hasn't been fully utilized uh, over the past past couple of years, and that's Microsoft's virtual training days. In addition to the training that we run through PAX 8 and through PAX 8 Academy, we do get extra requests for uh, how partners can take advantage of Microsoft training resources. And a lot of the roads do lead back to these virtual training days. So I would recommend checking out the events.microsoft.com website, um, as there is a ton of resources there and a ton of uh, different uh, sessions across pretty much most Microsoft technology areas, uh, across a range of different languages and time zones. So if you are looking to go all the way from MS 900 up to expert level sessions in uh, things like Intune or Defender, uh, I would recommend checking out these pages as it's a great resource for your team. And it's a pretty flexible as far as the amount of sessions available. Um, but as I said, it has been relatively underutilized um, in my experience from the conversations I've had. So I just wanted to call this out so you know that that resource is there and that you've got access to it for any Microsoft partners um, today. So that's the high level program updates that we do have. As I mentioned, these are covered off in our full version of the Microsoft monthly update by our corporate team. Uh, we've got a link through to that at the end. It's also in our PAX8 YouTube channel and also available in the Academy. So if you are looking for the long form version covered off by Ashley Moretti, our Senior Director for Microsoft Programs, I definitely rec recommend checking that out. Uh, but next from me, I just wanted to cover off a bit around the Azure journey with PAX8 and some of the great resources that we have coming through there as well. But firstly, just to cover off a bit about the market opportunity where Azure starts to come into play. Um, as we've seen over the past few years, there is an extreme amount of uh, growth and opportunity coming into the, uh, the infrastructure space, uh, where we start to see, particularly across APAC, where it is a little bit different. Australia has a lot of on-prem, um, a lot of on-prem infrastructure that has been maintained, uh, and within the Southeast Asian market, a lot of a uh, lot of opportunity to to modernise those cloud environments that already exist, or to then transition some of those those on-prem environments as well. So there is a lot of infrastructure growth to be to be made, but from there to change things up, there is a lot of uh, opportunity within the SMB space, growing around that data AI opportunity as well, particularly the growth through things like Copilot and the data that's being generated there but also through SMB organizations getting access to enterprise solutions to manage their manage their data and sort of realize the opportunity there. Um, there has been a lot of growth and then obviously a growth of a security requirement on top of that. What this basically paints a picture of is that there is a, a, a larger growing opportunity within the Azure space for SMB resellers, um, but there is also a huge amount of, uh, of skill shortage that we are definitely seeing in the marketplace. Um, and that's where Pax8 really wants to step in make sure that you have the right uh, resources to help um, enhance your team, to help train your team so you can take advantage of these opportunities and approach your customers to see if this is a, a solution that will, will help them out and something that can, uh, can improve their businesses and their processes as well. So basically, if we are looking to address some of these opportunities with Azure, um, the opportunities that we see as a reseller is you can start to expand your service offerings. You can start to augment what you've historically um, grown your business on and start to find new revenue streams. Uh, obviously, security is been pretty much the number one priority for most most customers and partners for the past five years. So, how do you make sure that you're uh, enhancing that security stance? You're aligning to whichever framework that you're you're utilizing, but you're applying those same uh, same fundamentals and same uh, approaches to an infrastructure and data scenario as you are to that that productivity suite and uh, device and apps that you've probably been historically uh, stronger in. You can also improve the scalability if you are still utilizing on-prem 
um, infrastructure? How do you make sure that you can handle that scaling conversation if you do start to require some more um, some more computation power, some more firepower to increase that presence? Uh, but also, how do you make sure that it's as efficient as possible and you are driving as much innovation with that environment as, uh, as you can, taking advantage of some of the additional features to improve your, um, your infrastructure, uh, but as we we're talking about some of the great security, uh, some security offerings uh, and security features that come into the Azure set as well. So basically the, the roads that we come to here, here at PAX 8, we are kicking off the Azure Kickstart program starting October 22nd. Uh, so from midday on October 22, we'll be kicking off a full seven um, session program designed to basically take all resellers from a state of possibly not knowing too much about Azure. So really going through a 101 session for all MSPs through the journey of how to start building services, building solutions on the technology, and then taking that to market and actually generating some sales opportunities with your customers. So these are seven in-depth um, courses provided by our Paxate's, um, Paxate's Azure experts. So I really recommend that you give it a go. It's open to all signed Paxate partners. So if you are within the marketplace, um, please do sign up. It's a huge, uh, huge value add. We are putting a lot of effort and a lot of, uh, lot of materials together for this one. Um, so if you are looking to take advantage of any opportunities within the Azure Stack, definitely recommend signing up. I've got a QR code just down the bottom corner there if you do want to, uh, to go through and sign up for that one. But if you are looking for any more information, please reach out to either myself or your channel account team, and we can definitely get, uh, get the right information across to you. Finally, I just wanted to have a look at the, uh, the Copilot Rewards program that we've also launched. So if you have looked a little bit at Copilot for Microsoft 365, we can know that it has been a little bit, uh, a little bit daunting drinking from the fire hose this year, as there has been a lot of change and since it was launched into SMB back in January. So whilst that um, we do have a lot of resources in our academy already, um, on how to sort of understand the Copilot messaging, how to understand some of the, the demos and scenarios that you can run through that to bring your bring your customers um, into the fray and understand a bit more about the Copilot opportunity. We know that there is also um, a requirement for some of the uh, some commercial benefits or incentives that will help drive that message home for you and help create some uh, some go to market programs as well. So what we've introduced in from Pax8 from October first is that partners will now have access to a partner rebate program. So. Um, where effectively for each Copilot license that you purchase, you will receive one month free on every co qualifying Copilot license that you purchase. Basically, it needs to be purchased on a net new subscription for a 12 month term. It does need to go over the seven day cancellation window. So it does need to become a confirmed subscription as well. But basically at the end of the qualifying period, running up until December 31st, you'll receive a $30 USD or one month back on that subscription for your, your Copilot license, which is a great opportunity. One of the uh, other great opportunities here as well is that it can stack on top of existing Microsoft promotions. So if you weren't already um, aware, Microsoft is running a direct promotion of 15% off any 10 seat, to, 10 to 300 seat purchases of Copilot. So 10 seats or more basically within the SMB space, if you purchase above that 10 seat threshold, you'll automatically get 15% back on that um, on that um, that purchase price within the Pax8 marketplace. So whilst uh, Pax8, uh, whilst uh, Copilot has been a bit of a consideration around that increased cost for the license. We do see a huge ROI that can be driven from a productivity perspective. But if you start to take into account some of these rebates, both through Pax8 and from Microsoft directly, especially if you're stacking them, you get to get a, a pretty good kickback there. So definitely do check that out. We're also running through our professional services team. They're able to help out with uh, some resources which are coming this month on uh, go-to-market messaging and campaign in a box materials that you can help drive out to your customers as well. So we wanna make sure that we're helping drive that message to your end user. We understand that go-to-market step can sometimes be a tough one for resellers. So we are looking to, to assist here, but also if you do purchase a co-pilot seat, there is end user training being hosted by Microsoft each month, which we can provide you access to as well. So we know that customer success is a key component of the co-pilot experience, making sure that users know how to get started, know how to start getting those productivity benefits, and taking their coworkers along that journey with them is gonna be key in order to growing that seat count and making sure that they're happy to renew those seats when they do come up for renewal as well. So some great resources coming through there, which we'll continue to share with you. Uh, but to take advantage of the Pax8 re uh, rebate program, you do need to register. So we've got a link there. I'll have a QR code, uh, I believe on the next slide, which will give you access to um, registering for this program. So please do register because it just makes sure that every seat that you do purchase is part of that rebate program um, and we'll make sure that you get the, get the benefits back to you. Awesome, so just a few FAQs uh, on the program itself. I think I covered off hopefully most of the information here. 
do sign up using that QR code that we have for you. But we also have some links down the bottom there to the Microsoft 15% promotion. That is being run directly by Microsoft, but the, the discounts should apply to those 10 seat or more purchases within the Pax 8 marketplace um, automatically. So do take advantage of that. And for the Pax 8 um, rebate program, this will be running until December 31st or until funding is exhausted. If you have registered via the QR code or via the landing page link, partners will be notified via email, um, but please do take advantage of that. And if you have any questions, do let us know. So as I said, this is just a quick recap of the October update from the Pax 8 team. If you want some more resources, please do check out the full monthly update either on YouTube or in the Pax 8 Academy. We'll make sure that we do have the slide deck in there as well for all of these links if you did miss the QR codes. But we also have a range of other great programs. So Technically Unraveled is available each month on our YouTube, um, YouTube channel. Kristen Ferenbach over in the States always has some really great guests, both from thought leaders and complimentary vendors to the Microsoft ecosystem. So I really do recommend checking that out. I, I watch it each month and uh, yeah, it's always uh, pretty thought provoking. So do check that out. So just a quick one for your October update, uh, just a few of the headlines that I think you should uh, keep an eye on. We'll continue to bring more content to you and giving you um, all the updates that you need to take advantage of uh, your Microsoft partnership and uh, yeah, your partnership with Pax8. So thanks very much for joining and I'll speak to you soon.